G'day ice cream lovers, my name's Steve Christensen, the ice cream bloke, self-appointed headmaster down here at Scoop School in St. Louis, Missouri, scoopschool.com. If you're watching this video, just click on the link, it's in down below, go to Scoop School, have a look at what we've got there, I think it's pretty cool. Um, we also, who else we think is pretty cool, is Lockhead Vanilla. We've been working with Lockhead Vanilla for, personally I've been working with them over 20 years, um, and so we uh, thank them for their episode sponsorship, LockheadVanilla.com, again based here in St. Louis, Missouri, shipping all over the country, getting beans from all over the world and then processing them with love and care and shipping them out all over the country, LockheadVanilla.com, uh, link down below. Look, um, should you sell t-shirts in your business? Well, it kind of depends on your uh, branding and it depends a little bit on how you position yourself in the marketplace from a customer perception standpoint. Uh, I know some ice cream shops that say, mm, we like to keep our branded apparel for our employees and for our management. It keeps our brand pure so that we don't have any old Tom, Dick and Harry out and about uh, on the train smoking a doobie and wearing a Mr. C's ice cream t-shirt and diluting my brand equity. Um, so you've got to be aware of that. If you're going to sell t-shirts, uh, be aware that really anything that happens in that shirt, anything that anyone is doing while they're wearing that shirt can reflect on your business and the image that you're trying to portray in the marketplace. That being said, there's good press and there's bad press. There's also people out there that are walking around and being the pillars of society, wearing Mr. C's ice cream shirt around, and they're actually helping you with your brand. So look, it's really up to you whether you sell them or not. Um, I do recommend that you kind of have a look at your customer base and whether you think that there's a market for selling shirts. You can buy t-shirts now relatively inexpensively. The National Ice Cream Retailers Association for the last couple of um, conventions uh, had a convention t-shirt. This was uh, 2018's uh, convention shirt in Colorado Springs. Drop that back down there. Were you expecting me not to be here? That would have been a good gag. <laughs> This wouldn't have been a good gag. Uh, here's the uh, shirt. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, folks. Just having a bit of fun at your expense. Um, anyway, I think of these things as we go along, and they're, just, they're silly things to do. I won't edit it out because, uh, hey, that's what uh, the Ice Cream Life's all about. Uh, and then last year's one, <laughs> we've got, uh, this was at uh, Charleston. And uh, look, they're relatively inexpensive to uh, have made for you. Depending on the quantities and the sizes that you want, they're relatively inexpensive. Something very simple like this, <coughs> it has a design on the front, has a design on the back. It can be anywhere between 10 and 12, 15 dollars. You can sell them for 20 dollars, 29 dollars, 25 dollars. Uh, the thing is that I know stores that actually have these shirts, they have them as their employees are wearing them. It might have the tagline on the back, uh, your business tagline with your logo, and every year they have a new tagline, they kind of reposition the brand a little bit uh, and have a new t-shirt. So it's kind of every season has a shirt. Um, a number of things. One, creates a little bit of revenue. It gives your customers an opportunity to kind of buy into that brand and then take that brand with them wherever they are. Put some thought into the design. I would suggest, you know, talking to someone or going online to um, a, a, a freelance design website, fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, will do some pretty inexpensive t-shirt designs for you with your logo. Um, so yes, I think there's great opportunity to get extra revenue and extra marketing and extra buzz out there by selling shirts. Just be aware of some of the issues that can happen and I think you'll be as right as rain. Uh, that's all we have. Again, thank you very much to our sponsors, Lockhead Vanilla. And uh, look, if you have a question, concern, quandary uh, about the ice cream business, or you'd like to suggest a topic for the podcast, look, drop us a line, leave a message down below, or uh, contact us, steve at scoopschool.com. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video.